What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal! Last episode... Oh... We were, uh, traversing some kind of routes, and I kind of went a little bit ahead of myself, and now I'm very lost. I don't know what's going on. Probably Zubats are going on. Yeah. Oh, Geodude. I want you. <laughs> the way he shakes his fist. Nah, get out of here. Get off my lawn. That's awesome. Do you do anything? What does Spite do? That didn't affect. Okay. Do ghost moves not affect you too? Or is that literally just like some kind of weird like hypnosis move where sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't? You know? You know what I'm saying there, Geodude? Geobro? Ooh, fire isn't going to be very useful against you either, is it? Defense curl. That's probably not a good thing. What does that mean, defense curl? That's very weird, uh... It's a curl, it's like, you know, curling like a barbell or something. Barbell? Bar bar is that what that was like? Whoa, I'm, my, my brain's just glitching out right now. Barbell, uh, that is what those are, right? Dumbbell? Dumbbell! What's a barbell? Is barbell anything? Did I just make that word up? I think I just made up the word barbell. Wait, did that do like no damage? Oh, it doesn't do any damage, okay. <clears throat> that explains a lot. I thought I was just, uh, I thought I just hadn't had a turn yet. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> As you can confuse my barbell. The hell is a barbell? Is that anything? I don't think that's anything. Anyways. Yay! I think my landlord might be here. Um, I actually have a story from yesterday. My landlord's here to drop off some, uh, mouse traps. <laughs> my, my, my cat caught a mouse yesterday! I turned around, and there's some other guy, I was like, oh my god, it's a mouse! And yep, he, he killed a mouse! What a surprise. Whoa, what a surprise. I didn't expect to see anyone here. So that guy's trying to sell me a slowpoke tail. I, that is, well, I, I, I don't think. I know for sure that is, uh, Hector Daniel. It's foreboding something. Onyx. Like, man, I wanted it in my life, but maybe not. I thought I'll randomly use some of his rocks turn around. Oh, yeah, I think my landlord's here. I'm gonna have to BRB, everybody. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's let's eat this guy up. Let's eat this little stone man up. Eleven. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. That's quite fine. I need to start. I okay. Now that I have like two computer monitors. I really need to like have a chart up. I need to have two things up. I need to have like Bulbapedia up or something. And um, also, I need a chart for which is weak and which is strong against what because that would be very helpful. How come? Oh, is he ground? Maybe he's part of ground type. Hmm. I don't know. But, oh no, binds! I know they fixed this at some point. What the heck is going on outside? I just saw a guy throw something over a fence. What the heck? Okay, good, they fixed it. I know in the old games you had to like continually click fight. And then be like, oh, you're still in the bind. It just seems to be like a huge waste of time. It seems they fixed it for this game, thank god. Alright, so, uh, oh, water's strong against rock and ground, though. Is it? It's weird, because it's, you'd think, like, ground would absorb water, right? Rocks, I guess it would. I guess it would be, should be strong against, water should be strong against rock, because water erodes rock. That's weird, because, like, one way or another, oh, nah. You would think like it's, it's weird how like uh, how some animal is, elements are strong against others. Whoa, beaten big time! Ooh, 232, is that right? That's pretty good. I was conned into buying a slow poke tail. There we go. I feel sorry for the poor Pokemon. Okay, so maybe this cave has something to do with that. You're headed to Azalea, are you? Let my Pokemon see if you're good enough to a battle. This is cool. Before music. <laughs> I was gonna say, I really like how, um, the battle music in this game seems a bit more upbeat than, like, the previous, or, like, Pokemon Yellow? I think, maybe I'm wrong about that. You know what, I should actually, instead of shooting, uh, Conroy out here, I should actually be throwing out Poliswag, because Poliswag's water. So that sh he should be good against these guys, I think? Let's us find out together, shall we? Eh, no. Ow, water gun. So hopefully this will be good. It should be, right? If it is, I'm gonna probably throw this guy to the forefront. There we go. Look at that. Super effective. Awesome. Freaking Rick Gasly. Oh, nice. I don't know. 
for a gas so I stay on my team or not, though. Geodude! Yeah, sure, it'll switch. Um, depending on if we see more of these guys after, I'll probably start cutting them out. Since it's just the same dudes over and over again. Geodude and Onyx. Alright, Paul, Swake. Swake, Swake, Swake! Swake, Swake, Swake! Kill me, kill me, kill me! Ha ha ha! Defense curl. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, but the question is, will it be any use against my water guard? That's that they're only level 6, too. Instant kills, pretty much. Eh. I mean, it's not really good since it's low experience, but... Four. Almost! Next next one should be a level... Uh, Onyx! Geo, dude! God dang it. Alright. Toss him out and do a quick little training sesh. It's actually kind of dumb how they get experience just by switching them out. Seems kind of broken, because, like, you would think they should only get experience if they do something in battle. I'm not complaining, since, you know, obviously it'd be much more annoying to train these guys if, like, they had to do some damage or something, because, you know, especially, like, lower levels, they'd just be instantly killed by everything, like, later in the game, but... It's just kind of weird, you know? Eh, there we go. Probably Swig should level up now. Yay! Hooray! Hooray! Yeah! Hucker Russell? Russell? Oh, oh! Oh, bones! Alright then, I've decided. I'm not leaving until my Pokemon get tougher. But they're all dead, so that's kind of awkward now, isn't it? Oh, I see a trainer on there. Who do we got here? Probably another Geo. Oh, woo! Sancho? Sancho, I don't think you're any good, right? I don't think so. I don't think you'll have any effects. Let's go back. I should really just throw a Poliswig up front, shouldn't I? I do have a Repel now, I could use that. So I don't have to deal with all these bottles. <laughs> Everything's just really into, uh, curling... <coughs> curling their hair, curling the sport, barbell curling. Barbell, what is that? Oh god. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's throw... Oh, hold on. Actually, we have a trainer down here. Burp, burp. Zubat Supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. Wait, does that mean he has Zubats? Oh, no. Whoa! Fire Breather Bill wants to battle. Coughing. Whoa. Uh, oh, it's on level 6, though. It's fine. Um... I don't know what this does. I want to know. It didn't affect. Oh, that's a normal type move. Okay, perfect. Let's try to lick then. I want to lick you from your ball to your chin. What? Uh. Hypnosis! Oh, god damn it. Tackle again. I don't think this guy can do anything against me. Uh, Hypnosis! There we go. Put him to sleep. Sleepy sloop. Little Z's. He sleeps with his eyes open. It's fine. <laughs> Is that thing that's ever fixed? I feel like that's never fixed. I feel like with enemies that have like eyeballs, which I guess would be pretty much all of them. <laughs> or uh, Pokemon that have eyes. Uh, not enemies necessarily, but I feel like they always they just always have a face on them like that, and you can never tell if there's something. Fire should be super effective against. Well, I say poison, but is it? Maybe it is. Oh, I guess not. Let's say because it's like uh. It's like, especially like, um, Mr. Ghastly over, not Ghastly, oh no, coffee, because he's like all gas, Ghastly and stuff, you know? So it's like, when I throw a fireball at him, he should explode. That should be a thing! I guess like certain enemies, if it's like, oh crap, that guy has gas! He's a gas-based Pokemon! Oh no, I threw my freaking fireball, now it explodes! And it's like, it's like actually the, ex oops, it's like actually the explosion move. That should be a thing. It like instant kills everybody, pretty much. <laughs> Unnecessary insta kills. Mm -hmm. Critical hit. <laughs> Adorable. Wow, fine. I was just about to uh, cut, and uh, we run to this guy. Oh no, Rick Astley. Firebolt breather, Bill. I flamed out. Wah wah. Uh, on weekends, you could hear strange roars from deep in the cave. 
interesting. What does that mean? A strange word? Is that like a... It can't be like a legendary or something, right? That'd be lame. Oh no, how big is this cave? I'm scared. Probably pretty big. Hey, too bad. Wow, too bad. Oh, he's a flying type. That's not very good, now is it? That is good. That is not good. Conroy's really our only, like, Pokemon I'm enjoying using right now. We just, like, my go-to, which is kind of poopy because he's level 16. I guess Poliswag is, like, what, level 13, 14? So like, he's not that far behind. Um, probably Tackle would be okay, right? And... This is the first instance of the scenes we bet, too, isn't it? Man, we still don't... Wow, I didn't see that experience bar move. We still don't have... Um, a Rattata, which is sad. <laughs> I should have grabbed one at the beginning of the game. I wasn't even thinking about HM Slave. I was just like, oh, Rattata, he's useless. I'll never need him. Alright, it's time to shoot. I think we've pretty much seen the majority of the Pokemon we're going to see in here. So, after this battle, we'll start cutting out the random battles. Uh, actually, let's go with Polysuede. Yeah, level 14, so he's not that far behind. Rick Gastly isn't that far behind either, to be honest. He's only three levels below uh, Polyswag. Of course, I don't know. I guess he'll be really helpful if there's a normal type gym. Don't even know if that is a thing in this game. But, uh, we shall see. I know it's a grass type gym. Um, yeah. Stupid effective! Yay! I did a thing! Alright. And cut! Woot! Okay, so, uh... Oh god, which way do we go? Oh, so that's a new... Oh, is this Team Rocket? I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival! Who are you? That was an interesting song music. So, last um, recording session... Oh, Pokemaniac? Pokemaniac, Larry. Wow, <laughs> Larry. Ooh, this is a rare Pokemon. Is Slowpoke! <gasps> Better keep that guy out of sight, bro. I mean, you heard the chopping up damn their tails. Oh, you're so close to a level. What if he hypnosis is him? Okay. Good. I don't... It's not gonna be super effective. But we'll try it anyways. Let's see what happens. What does Spike do? I don't know what Spike does yet. It's super effective. Oh, that's super effective? Good. God, Rick Gassley, you suck. Alright, maybe I should... What do you do? Spikes. Didn't... Okay, so I don't know what that does. I should really look that up instead of wasting turns. Um, last recording session, I was really worried about, like, editing out all these, uh, battles. Because it's like, oh, it's gonna be so annoying to edit. But, uh, since I last played Curse... Speed fell. Attack went up and defense went up. Okay, that's... I forgot what that did. I thought that was a, uh... That might be a ghost type move. I thought that was a move Gassy learns. I was very confused. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> no, that didn't do very much at all. Now did it. Oh god. You're actually uh packing a bit of a punch there, Slowpoke. But yeah, since like I recorded Pokemon Yell, I since uh, took up the uh the notepad. I don't know how very effective, but still better than tackle. I since took up <laughs> The method of having a notepad beside me whenever I record anything, so whenever I'm gonna cut anything out, I write down the time code. So if you know, I was like, oh, at uh, 11 minutes 57 seconds, and I wrote down random encounter. So I know, let's, let's, no, we got this actually. I said I know exactly where to cut out. The only thing that's kind of bad about that is if I forget to write one down, you guys are gonna have a very awkward 20 seconds of me saying nothing and maybe making some awkward noises. Maybe doing a weird coughing noise, like throw up. That's what I do whenever I cut, I just throw up, don't worry about it, it's fine. Look at those weird fingers. Look, my poor Pokemon. 600, oh yeah, Pokemon give you a crap ton of money. I guess because they're travelers, come across a billion doll hairs every time they go anywhere. Um, 30, oh, I could actually, yeah, may as well. Don't waste a single HP, hp -ness. Long exchange phone number, sir. Every Friday, you can hear Pokemon roar deep and from inside the cave. What does that mean? I don't want to play specifically on a Friday. Is it even a good Pokemon that shows up? Oh, no. What's the other way? Crap, should I? I'm going to use a... Uh... Oh, there we go. Um, We got a... Repel! Yeah, I got the last recording session. 
Um, so, repels, in case you don't know, you, you do know. Hello! Uh, you don't get random encounters with Pokemon that are low level than the Pokemon you have out in the front line. If it's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. Oh. <laughs> if you're strong, Pokemon aren't. So I thought that was the end of that sentence. Oh, another fire breather. Mike. I think that said. Vulpix. Oh, that's cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to do much here, Rick Gastly. Oh, 12. You're getting up there, man. You're getting up there. It doesn't affect. Oh, right. It's weird. it's weird when it says it doesn't affect. Because that... To me, that seems like, oh, this move will never, ever touch this Pokemon. But that's not necessarily true. Okay, that's kind of a little scary. Let's switch out here. Give me some Poliwag. Some the saddest Poliwag I've ever seen. <laughs> this sprite makes it look so sad. <coughs> makes it look worried as heck. Vulpix has a fierce face on. <clears throat> Alright, let's insta-kill this Vulpix. This Vulpix. Ouch. I'm a little bit worried. It's like, is it bad I only have like three Pokemon on the main team? I'm not entirely sure about Rick Astley right now. I'm not even entirely sure about Poliwag yet. And Poliwag seems much better now that I have a, uh, um, a, a, a water move that isn't Bubble. Ray, that is, I don't know why I thought it said Mike. Flash! Where's your 32? That's pretty good too. Uh, it's my Pokemon's fire that lights up this cave. <laughs> wow. That's like a, uh, my dad works at Nintendo kind of comments. That's funny. Do, do, do. I think I already talked to him again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, where do you go? Move 33. Well, crap, I wasn't done exploring the cave yet. Union Cave. Union Cave. Oh, does this lead to the deep dang scary Pokemon? What does that mean? What, what appears here on a freaking Friday night? And I'm never going to remember that. Oh, really? Who's done this? X Defend. I'm gonna probably sell all these. This is, uh, no, there's, that only boosts your whatever for. Oh, no! Team 39, what's that? Does it tell me, why does it, it should just tell you right there, man. It should be like, Chris found TM 39! And then it should say, like, oh, it's uh, an attack that never misses. Oh, that's kind of cool. We're gonna just ignore it and move on now. Um, Swift, do I want that? Attack that never misses. I don't think that'd really be that good. <gasps> Why is there a rat in this kid? That actually, now that I'm saying it, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> All right, listen here, you. If I somehow die, there's rat at the top. Does it affect him? Oh, come on. So can we just catch him like this? No, no. Hmm. Pokeball. I wonder if the rod would be any good in here. Come on. It's a freaking twerking rat. Give me him. Put him in my body. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh no. Oh no. This Pokemon's impressive vitality allows it to live anywhere. It also multiplies very quickly. Thank you for that. Now I have pictures of Rattatas having sex in my mind. Even he's like, no. Um. Uh. Uh. Oh. P. Op ba. <coughs> Op bend. Duh. Op bend. I don't know. I don't really. I couldn't. I'm trying to think of like a way to combine um, sex and uh, ratata. Like sexta. Nope, that's dumb. Um, and then I couldn't think of anything since you know it says they multiply very quickly. Uh, so I just went with random letters and that it seemed to work, okay. <sighs> oh no, don't want- I think what he want- oh no! Oh okay, yeah, should probably start talking. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's quickly try a rod here. I don't know if you could- Not even a nibble. Try it again. Oh, we could actually- I'm pretty sure we could- uh, Oh, there we go! I have no idea what we could find in a, in a cave? 
This is just gonna be Yeah, alright. I thought probably so. This is what this is what fishing does. Ooh, he's level 10. It's tempting, but I'm not gonna catch him. Level 10, that's not bad though, right? I feel like you can catch him on level 5, level 10, level 15 though. I feel like level 10, I feel like every level 5 is like uh, 40 out of 50 times you'll catch a level 5! And then 2 out of 50 times you'll catch a level 10. 1 out of 50 times you'll catch a level 15. You know, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. Okay, you know what? You know, it's a magic carp anyway, so it's not gonna give me any experience at all. So let's get the heck out of here. Let's screw fishing, because we're just gonna catch a billion magic carps. <sighs> I'm sure you can catch a lot of stuff there. And there we go. So uh, next time, we'll check out Route 33, and hopefully we'll hit a town because, good lord, I really want to hit a town. I really want to see a map and see where the heck am I, because I have no idea, not a single clue where the heck I am. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I like how everything in this game is color, except these signs. They're so black and white for some reason. <laughs> I mean, they're probably not. It's like, ah, the signs are white. Oh god, oh, Ralph. God damn, Ralph. Hey, Uncle Ralph, that's creepy. I don't like that at all. I've been spending more time with my Goldeen than I have with my kids. Jesus, that's a bit sad, actually. Yesterday, a wild hop hip slipped away from me in front of. I don't know what that is. I was feeling down about it until he shares Pokeballs with me. That Oh my god, the innuendos. Haha, <laughs> that sure made my day. I don't like this call at all. Do you call your mom sometimes, too? Oh, I thought you were saying he was going to call my mom. I was like, what? This is the weirdest conversation I've ever had with a weird guy who calls himself his my uncle. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Bye, everybody.